This is the update you've been looking for. Errol Spence Jr. has eye surgery for a retinal tear. His fight with Manny Pacquiao officially canceled. Unfortunate news. You guys, he's fighting Pacquiao. I'm going to cover all the information that's available now. You want to watch this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys put a like on this video. It goes a long way when you, yes, you at home, smash the like button, show our greatness so other people can find the video. It notifies other potential viewers that the content is fire in the world of boxing. My name is Ego. I'm your host. I cover all things boxing. This is your one-stop shop. Now let's talk about it. The bad news, Pacquiao, Errol Spence, much anticipated fight August 21st is no mas. They did a fight press conference with Pacquiao and Jordanis Ugas both look extremely calm and focused. I was on the call. It was a Zoom call. You could check that full video. I'll try to put a card at the end of this video. So if you want to watch Pacquiao and Jordanis Ugas, they were both great sports. Both look extremely calm with late replacement. Pacquiao says he's going to um, put on a fun fight with Ugas and Ugas still got an aggressive style. So he says, tune in by the pay-per-view. It'll still be a good fight, even though it's a substitute for Errol Spence. Errol Spence himself, he posted this picture. This is him obviously at um, the hospital or after getting the surgery. And he has the, the patch over his eye to fix the retinal tear. He has a tear in his retina, causing this fight to be over. So he's already done the surgery. This looks like post-op stuff. And I want to give you guys the updates. So that's the picture in case you guys want to see what Arrow's looking like. You know, a lot of people were hit with the sledgehammer blow that the fight's not happening. But once we process that, I feel like in the end, this will still be great. I think it'll still work out. Because Errol Spence, from all intents and purposes, and I'll get to the recovery time and, and whatnot. I'm not a doctor, but what's being said and the information that's out, I think this will all work in the favor. Because the Pacquiao, if he should he beat Ugas, which I don't think is an easy fight, but should he win, his stock can go up and he'll become a champion. The belt he lost, so this could all still work out. Right, Errol Spence, he said stuff like, I, I've come back from worse, probably referring to his car accident. He said, I went to three doctors. They all said the same thing. I'll be back for the winter for sure. I was taught to get through it and keep going. So Errol Spence is ready for this newest journey and kind of setback regarding his eye. You know, I see a lot of, oh, there's Oscar De La Hoya. I didn't see it. He said, get better champ, wishing you all the best. That's nice of him, right? Yeah, I seen a lot of credit to De La Hoya for putting that. Um, I seen a lot of people a lot of y'all don't humanize boxing. You act like these guys are robots. Errol Spence has been through a horrific car accident. You think he's worried about Pacquiao after nearly losing his life? Why would he even sign up for the fight if he just wanted to pull out because he was scared? Why would he have called out Pacquiao before the accident if he was scared? So there's a lot of nonsense in boxing. He looked like he was in tremendous shape. You guys can see from the pictures. It's just an unfortunate thing. And we heard David Benavidez. And, and this is, listen, this is what we hear from old media and the racist fans as it pertains mostly to black fighters. Because David Benavidez tested positive with the Rona and people just accepted this is what happened. David Benavidez, I made a video about that, check that. But when it comes to black fighters, they're scared, they're ducking, they were looking for a way out, all that. But no one's saying that to David Benavidez. No one says that to anybody else that, goes through a setback like this. I truly believe Errol has given us no reason to not take him at face value. He isn't proven to be a liar. It's just bad timing. It is what it is. Got the, the eye surgery, and I wish him a speedy recovery. Now, let's get into some of the, the updates that you guys clicked on the video you want to hear from the greatest, you know, when it comes to this boxing talk. This is the promoter, Errol Spence promoter, and... It was a Q&A session, and the question says, how long will Errol Spence be out? And it says his surgery, and I'm sure that meant was. It says his surgery is today, but that means was. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they meant to put. How long will Spence be out, again, is the question. 
Errol Spence, his surgery was today, will likely be able to resume training in a month or so. So this is consistent with the information from Eagles Army. When I was reporting about this last night on my live stream, one of my fans had looked it up and they said the recovery time for such a tear is typically one to four weeks. And this is consistent with what the promoter is saying. So the fact that he's able to recover in, in a decent amount of time, that's good. Because I, I told you this and I posted this on my social media earlier. Misinformation is killing people. There's a lot of people who this Internet is a powerful tool and I have nothing against the Internet. I've made a career on the Internet, but be careful where you get your information. There's a lot of people who are not versed in anything. Some people didn't graduate, don't have a GED, dropped out, and they act as if they're medical doctors or scientists or biologists or whatever. And it's, it's not true. Like, how? who are you? What is your authority to say what the recovery time is? I've seen people say, oh, Errol Spence is ducking because he's going to be out for a year. He's going to be out for six months. And that's not what's being reported and what's being said. So again, keep in mind, be cautious where you get your information. Another question asked to the promoter says, why did you guys replace Errol Spence and not just push the fight back instead? Is his recovery expected to be long? And it says you guys was ready to go and Errol will need some downtime before resuming training. You know what I mean? They already had a push on account of Tyson Fury saying he had the Rona. They had to push back the Wilder fight and they had you guys, Ugas, who's, whose opponent was Madonna's brother. He had an eye injury and he was on the co-feature and then Pacquiao in the same weight class, his opponent had an eye injury. So they like, yo, Chris Cross, Chris Cross. Ugas and Pacquiao is still a title fight. We could make this work. And I'm actually glad they did it because if we just had to wait because Errol Spence can still very well fight the winner once this is recovered, right? And from what he says, he says he certainly wants the winner. So again, once you deal with the initial shock of it all, I think this will work out. But he, he told you, he says, said the same thing. I'll be back for the winner for sure. So he already let you know that's his intention. But let's let me give you a little bit more info. This was from the PBC press release officially. Errol Spence discovered that he had a torn retina during a pre-fight medical exam by NSAC in Las Vegas on Monday. He then flew back to his home in Dallas, Texas on Tuesday and will have surgery to repair the tear on Wednesday. Spence is expected to make a full recovery and return to the ring. This is important because you have uh, a lot of haters and detractors and they're saying Errol is ducking and stuff. We, we don't know if Errol even wanted to pull out because it's like sometimes we've seen fights in in fight. I'm talking about in the actual fight. We've seen fights stopped in the fight and the fighter himself wanted to keep going like Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 2. Wilder didn't want to quit. It was his corner that quit. So from what this sounds like from the official press release, again, you could believe whatever you want. This was something that was brought up at the pre-fight medical that he, you have to pass to even fight. So if Nevada State Athletic Commission did an eye test and they're like looked at him or, you know, whatever the test requires, they're the ones that noticed it. And everything about his story checks out. It says Monday he found this out. Errol Spence says he went to, to three doctors and they all said the same thing. So he got a second opinion. So it doesn't even sound like Errol Spence necessarily wanted the fight to be postponed. But if Insect discovered it and then you got a second and third opinion from two other doctors and they said the same thing, then your fight's toast. So even if Errol wanted to continue, one, he'd be risking going blind for boxing. And two, he couldn't fight even if he wanted to because the people who detected it was Insect. So the commission, that, that would be blood on their hand. If Errol Spence went blind, then they could get sued because Errol Spence is now blind in one eye and his family can sue or Errol can sue if anything were to happen to him. So you don't authorize it. It's just like when people started suing Pacquiao for the Mayweather fight because Pacquiao came out and said he had a hurt so shoulder. They're like, hey, I paid good money for tickets. And now you saying you were 
inoperable or you're out of commission and they the commission still lets you fight so once something like this is discovered especially with your vision something that's irreversible if too too far gone or badly damaged they're not going to allow the fight to continue so all the, that just deads the whole notion that errol spence was ducking even if he wanted to continue he wouldn't be able to based on the fact that insect was the one that first discovered and notify him that and then you get second and third opinions and they corroborated what insect said so obviously the doctors all seen the same thing it's over Errol said, I'm very disappointed I won't be able to fight Manny Pacquiao on the 21st. I was excited about the fight and event. Unfortunately, the doctors found a tear in my left eye and said I needed surgery on it ASAP. And it was no way I could fight with my eye in that condition. I'd like to apologize to everyone. You know I'll be back soon. We've come back from worse. First and foremost, I ask everyone to join me in praying for the complete recovery of Errol Spence. Pacquiao said, thank God for his physical exam, discovered his eye condition before he suffered further damage. I have agreed to fight you guys on the 21st. Again, you guys could check that. So Pacquiao, a tremendous champion and being very classy. But everything adds up. They said he's going to have surgery to prepare the tear on Wednesday. As of me recording the video, it's Wednesday. Looks like he had the surgery. He said it was in his left eye. That looks like his left eye. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, his story checks out. And it's just unfortunate. It says it's unfortunate turn of events. Arrow had a retinal tear. Subsequent surgery has prevented him from participating in the big pay-per-view event. We wish him a speedy recovery, said Tom Brown. Boom. There you have it. That's the update. Good thing is a lot of people don't know what the, they're talking about. And some people are saying he has a detached retina. That's not true. I've seen that in my comment section. Detached retina is not what he has. He has a tear a retina tear and if otherwise unattended to it could have become worse to the point where it can impact his vision you know maybe he's seen doubles maybe he didn't even notice it but he couldn't pass his physical education or his physical test and then they they collapsed the fight it is what it is right and i'm curious if perhaps errol spence somehow his eye was weakened from the accident Here's the mugshot or whatever from Errol Spence after that car accident. And you see Errol Spence, you know, when he was recovering. And they said it, I think the thing said it was his left eye, but it looks like it's his right eye. You know, it would be my left and his right, but whatever. But anyway, it's consistent. But you see this eye that looks, doesn't look clear. It looks bloodshot. And this eye looks clear. This looks like it's on the same side that he had this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. But I'm wondering if he had certain damage that maybe was worsened or exasperated during training, you know, preparing, putting his body through the rigors of the Pacquiao fight or something. Because it looks like some, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what caused his eye to be red after the accident here. And then this is the same eye that had the damage that required surgery. So this is just like a chip in the windshield. You can have a initially a small chip and over time that chip gets worse. So again, I'm not an optometrist, I'm not a doctor, but at the end of the day, this could have some connection. Maybe his eye was weakened or there was some connection to the accident. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Use my link for the two buddy. I promise you I got the hottest content in the world boxing. Let's get it. And I'm out.